What is a thermal bridge? It can be described as a localized element within the building envelope that has a higher thermal conductivity than the adjacent areas. Typically, you can find thermal bridging occur in structural attachments or metal flashing. Let's imagine for a second that you turn a hot plate on, put a steel stud on it, then place your hand on top. Very quickly, you'll start to feel the heat emitting from the hot plate. That's thermal bridging. Now, imagine doing the same exercise, but with a layer of insulation between the steel stud and your hand. You'll find that you're much more comfortable and can hold your hand on the stud for much longer. That's thermal resistance. In a typical steel wall system, the exterior cladding and studs are connected to the steel frame of the building. As the sun hits the metal cladding, heat transfers to the connecting U-channels, sending the unwanted exterior energy through the frame and into the building. Regardless of how much insulation you use, it won't be effective if there are easy heat flow paths around it. Let's change the season and imagine this wall system in a winter environment. The heat from the interior follows the same path and releases outside creating condensation around the connecting elements. Over time, this condensation can penetrate the expanding and contracting connections leading to corrosion and rust, not to mention greater energy use and carbon emissions. For example, here is a picture of a steel building taken on an autumn day. You can clearly see where the thermal bridging is occurring in the metal panels. Just to be clear, steel buildings are not the only system subject to thermal bridging. Wood frame, cast in place, and even precast concrete is affected by it. Let's look at the hot plate again, but instead of laying a steel stud, put a piece of concrete the same thickness and place your hand on it. You'll notice that it takes a lot longer for the concrete to heat up, but nevertheless, it will transfer that energy resulting in heat loss. To combat this, we'll use the same concrete and embed a layer of insulation with thermally efficient Wythe connectors, creating a single building component. As expected, the sun will still heat the exterior concrete Wythe with the exception of minimal energy transferring through the wall and into the interior. That's because our precast concrete wall panels have zero thermal breaks within the insulation, making it very difficult for thermal bridging to occur. This high-performing wall assembly has proven to reduce energy use, add comfort, and succeed in durability versus other structural wall systems. It is important to remember that the wall assembly is just one component to a building and that the entire envelope must be designed properly to suppress thermal bridging and maximize thermal efficiency. Not all precast concrete is created equal. Panel designs vary between manufacturers, so we recommend consulting with one of our specialists to better understand the science behind a properly designed precast envelope. For more information on our precast concrete wall panels and their role in a more sustainable future, please visit eaglebuilders.ca.